Hello students, today we will learn how to determine the minimum size of the quadrant by species area curve method. The species area curve method is used to estimate the minimum size of the quadrant necessary to characterize a community. This is done by plotting a curve and estimating the area after which using larger quadrate results in the addition of only a few or more spaces. This is called minimum area. This type of analysis can be used to measure the effects of habitat or species diversity in a community. The species area relationship or species area curve describes the relationship between the area of a habitat or of part of a habitat and the number of species found within that area. Now we will discuss about quadrate method. There are different types of quadrate like list quadrate, list code quadrate, chart quadrate and clip quadrate. List quadrate is enlisting the names of different spaces growing in the quadrate. And in list code quadrate, it records the number of individuals of each species represented in each quadrate. While in chart quadrate, the records, the position and areas covered by bunches, mats or tufts of grasses, mosses on the coordinated or graph paper. These graphs help to compare any change in structure of community in future. And clip quadrate is used for the study of biomass or weight of each species. All individuals are uprooted and each fresh or dry weight is recorded. Demarcation or lying out of different types of quadrates are basically same. Generally, an adjustable wooden frame is prepared with perforations at regular intervals on each arm. Four arms are fixed in the field with the help of long nails and it is ready to provide data necessary for list, list code and clip quadrate. But in chart quadrate, more nails or hooks are fixed to the perforations on quadrate arms at regular intervals. Nails of opposite arms are connected by threads to divide the plot into a number of smaller quadrates to facilitate the recording of the area covered by individual plants on a coordinate paper in scale. When such wooden frames are not easily available, it can be replaced by long threads or ropes. The base size of quadrate to use in a community should be determined with care it should be large enough and enough quadrate should be studied to produce reliable result. The size quadrates to be used in a given community is determined by constructing a species area curve. This is done by sampling the vegetation with nested quadrate method. In selecting an appropriate quadrate size, we need to ensure that the quadrate are big enough to contain at least one plant of, interested, of interest and should include enough plants to get a good estimate of density. Conversely, the quadrate needs to be small enough that the count can be conducted in a reasonable amount of time. 